praise, and love. Peace, love to the body, praise to the Creator. Nobody else. And I want to introduce his brother named Truth Origin. Go subscribe to this channel. He's going to show you some survival stuff. Truthology. He is part of the People's Council. And, uh, he's going to do a pretty good job. We are having conversations, us and a, a good round of brothers on the phone. Some make it some nights, some make it other nights. We have these conversations. Uh, we have now, since we have these conversations for the past couple of weeks going on, we have now started to make sure that numbers are being exchanged. So we are building this council, and this gentleman is going to be teaching you some things about the wilderness. Also, he breaks out a book. Okay, so let's listen to what the brother has to say. And I want you to go to subscribe to him. I'm already obviously subscribed to him. All right? So, here you go. Hello, YouTube. Uh, coming back at you with another video. This is True Knowledge. True Knowledge. Okay, uh, today we're going to be cooking on the silver fire. We're going to melt down some beeswax. Two colleges. And we're going to combine it with some boiled linseed oil and some turpentine to make your own waterproofing compound. All right, let's get started. All right, YouTube, I just added the, uh, the beeswax. I put in one pound of beeswax. You need a ratio of um, one pound of beeswax to eight ounces of boiled linseed and eight ounces of turpentine. All right, I'm gonna have to do some video measuring to melt this really quick, like so. Here we go. Okay, YouTube family, we're still melting down the beeswax. I should have cut it in pieces so the milk quicker. But hey, just want to get this video on up. All right, and while we wait, of course you, I always want to give all praises to the Creator, and um, we got this book I want to share with you. Here we go. And it's called The Original Names and Descriptions of God and Mr. J. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Got my assistant stirring things up and melting down the wax and stuff. But um, this is some very important information. And uh, people need to know it. I'm just going to read a little bit just to let you know how good this book is or pamphlet because it's really not <laughs> that thick a book. It's more like a jet magazine basically with knowledge in it. Um, it says the modern name for God was originally called in or not or nigger. A term that remains forbidden or unfavorable to pronounce because of its sacredness in ancient times if the individual other than the priest pronounced the sacred letter in or the word nigh or niger he or she was publicly put to death thereby to avoid the uses of the letter in or the word now or niger and 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 to Aquarians substituted to the letter in and the term now or niger for Om or Am, meaning him, ham, or black, which later became known as Omen or Ammon, or Hamakam, Hama, Quam, uh, Elohim, uh, Elohim, or uh, Elohim, and so forth. So it's just name a bunch of these names that I don't like saying. 
Um, but you know, um, it's a very good book. And it's talking about how, how basically the N word is not a bad word. It's not a bad word at all. People, people have been brainwashed into thinking that something is bad that is not. That was the original word. <laughs> the first letter of the Bible, when it says in the beginning, was the letter N. You know, so everything didn't have a, I didn't have an I in front of it. You know, it's just the letter N. You know, so I mean, people got to think, man, you've been brainwashed into thinking that your own name is bad, and and it is our name because the Creator created Niger and Nigret. You know, that's that was the original names of the people that he created. He did he didn't he didn't name us no Adam and Eve. That, that was something that the, the that the conquerors don't decide to say because that's that's them. They are Adam and Eve. We are man. <laughs> they are mankind. Now they can be helped if they don't, they stop being wicked and trying to pick on us because we are we are God's children. I mean if they ever Decide that they want to stop that, and they can be up. I mean, they got to they got to confess that who we are. There was a, a pastor. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, somebody killed Patrick. He just came out and said that black people are God's people. So you know these people just got to stop hating. If they stop hating people and loving the create the creative children, then you know things get better for them. But they don't even realize like like. I'm going to talk to you people, uh, to, to white people, okay? For some reason, y'all don't realize that these same people that are called the elite are not you. They just look like you. They, I don't know what the hell they is. They probably some damn lizards or something like that, but they are not you. They look like you. They can they can, they can morph and make themselves look like a white person, but they are not white people. Y'all follow these people and listen to their hate because they want you to be against us for some reason, and you got to think about it. Why y'all distracted? Hating black people. They got child, they, they making shots and vaccines for you. So they can inject it in you and, and, and have an I am legend type situation. Cause that's that's all I see right now nowadays is some I I am legend stuff. Is it is it melted? Okay, yeah, take it out the heat here. Yeah now guys, we got this thing melted. We're doing pretty good so far. Look at that red hot heat. This is like one of the most awesome stoves, man. You gotta stop relying on electricity all the time, you know. Uh, it's good to, you know, have things that don't require like help or outside help. And all I'm doing, I'm burning this one little half of half of a uh, Enviro log, and this thing is red hot, producing copious amounts of heat. It's just extra warm, man. Like, right? <coughs> and it's daytime, and this shit is red hot. <coughs> So, yeah, no. Um, now we're gonna go over here to our like now that we got it melted, it's gonna stay melted for a while. Um, I'm kind of doing this with one hand, so I'm gonna pause the video and then when I get everything open, I'll unpause it. Okay, guys, I got it open. I got my assistant um, helping me out now. He's holding the camera. Uh, what we got here first is uh, the ball of linseed oil here, man, and we're gonna. Pour some of that good stuff in there. Now the boiled linseed oil, for, for which I, people that don't know what it is, it, it's like a, it protects wood, so. And it contains a, a, a drying agent that allows it to dry quickly, cause you know, oil does not dry fast. It, it takes a long time for oil to get dry. If you try to put it on some something, so. They have drying agents, and then those drying agents create a lot of heat, which is why we're doing this outside. You know, because this shit can catch on fire. <laughs> so, and I'm putting like an extra little bit of it. It's supposed to be only, now you're only supposed to use a cup. For, for every pound of um, beeswax that you have, you're supposed to use one cup. Just to clarify that. Um, I like to put a little bit more linseed in it, because I mean, and I have more water and it also makes it softer and more more malleable and, and usable um, and the next thing we're going to use is turpentine alright you got that on that one okay. alright then we're going to put some turpentine in here you only need 16 ounces I mean not 16 uh, 8 ounces for one cup 
But uh, of course, we're gonna put just a little bit more in there. Cause guess what? Serpentine is a drying agent as well. Or a theme scene, so it can be more uh, easily to easy to apply to, to waterproof and things. Okay. All right, and now we have that in there. We're gonna give it a little stir. And you know the wax is not gonna melt. It's not gonna draw um, solidify in time soon because it's extra hot. So, but uh, we're gonna continue talking about the ingredients. Now I've seen people use uh, mineral spirits, but I, I'm not really. Like mineral spirits to replace the turpentine, but I mean I'm not really familiar with all that, so I do, I use the original recipe. And this is a good for waterproofing wood. And um let me see uh let me one moment. Alright guys, I'm back ahead of most stuff out the way. Um let's see here. Alright, so basically I'm just gonna show you guys how to use it, okay? When it's still hot in its liquid form, I mean, you can just apply it with like a paintbrush or like a, there's a regular old crumpled up paper towel, you know? Um, and if it's dry, if it has solidified like, like it has on this end of the spoon, or this little, uh, you see it's, it's, it's actually not like super solid. That's the reason why you added the uh, mint seed and the other compounds to make it more soft. And the way if you apply it when it's like this is you put it on what you, what you want to own waterproof. Then you get a blow dryer or a heat gun. And then you blow it and then it, it, it soaks into whatever you got and then it's, it becomes waterproof. Uh, but I'm going to just show you with while it's, uh, oh shoot, it's like, all right, let's see. And just apply it. And uh, this is what people used back in the day, man, when they just had canvas tarps and stuff like that. They used uh, this regular waterproof that they made at home because the uh, canvas was king before tarps kind of took over. Let's see. And I got, should have a nice good coating on there and we're going to just see if this stuff is waterproof. This, this is no magic because I didn't pause it. Here we go. You see it just waterproofs on out of there. And, and um, and so it's not gonna soak into the wood. And uh, of course, if I let it cool on off here, it'll be a better coat. But uh, as you see, it just runs off. And uh, even better, if I had a piece of paper, I can use that to show. But hey, this I just water just beads. See, look at it. just water just beads off. And just. That's all, it, that's all it does. There's the water that it running off of there. I don't have enough of a slope on the table to show, but let me see. I don't want to tip over the stove here. <laughs> so that's why I don't have the table tilted like that. But I mean, yeah, it, it, it waterproofs things. And uh, and guys, just remember uh, what we talked about. Um, go out and get that book. Go out and get this book here. And um, also, there's a website, if you don't want the book, there's a website that's talking about the same thing. It's called um, The Sacred N-Word. TheSacredNWord.com. And uh, there's a lot of information on there. Um, and I also suggest people that you uh, invest in a good outdoor stove, you know, like a good wood burning stove. Because this, look, we've been talking this whole time, it's, it's still going strong, you know, so... Yeah, and that's just with one, uh, half of an Enviro log. I just lit it and closed the lid on it. it. I mean, it doesn't come with this lid, but you know, let me show y'all some. This is a raging fire in here. Let's show y'all. Woo! that thing up, boy. But yeah, man. <laughs> and I'm talking about, you could, I, I fry things on this thing, like you see all the little stuff. From grease popping in everywhere, yeah, man. You know, so, yeah, they got it. So, I mean, it's, it's a good stove, man. Yeah, yeah. And I got the little custom pipe, just went to the store and bought a pipe, put it on there. Um, I got this extension so I can put a bigger pipe on here. I mean, I mean, it's good to invest in something that doesn't require electricity 
fuel, or anything else of that matter. Just, just you should better just pick up sticks because you can literally put twigs in here, and it's going to burn very efficiently. And um, yeah. So, um, and then I'll, let me see here. So guys, uh, I guess that'll be it. And um, for this lesson that we gave you today. I just want to give all praise to the Creator and nobody else, no Mr. James, no none of that. You should not be worshiping man. You shouldn't be following man. You shouldn't be wanting to eat the blood of man and body of man or whatever. And no man can die for your sins. <laughs> you really don't say that anywhere where somebody can die for your sins. So, <laughs> people, you got to wake up, smell the coffee, read the book, understand the book. If you read it, you will understand it, trust me, because it's not that hard. It's like, if you read it, it's going to make sense to you if you were a man. If you were not man, then it's, it's going to sound like gobbledygook. So, um, thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time. That was a good video. All praise to the Crate No Boss. Go subscribe to my dear brother, who is part of the People's Council. Okay. For the people and by the people, and of course the people, all the people of Israel, and you are part of the council. We want your opinions in. We are just the people who are trying to help and make decisions based on your wants and needs, as long as it follows up with the Creator, as you know. So peace and love. So yeah, truthology. All praise to the Creator. And of course, uh, we'll be seeing you next time.